High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Quirk Auto Group, Greenway Equipment Sales, First National Bank, and Mainly Supplements. High School Basketball is also brought to you by County Physical Therapy, Hammond Lumber Company, Coastal Auto Parts, Dean's Detailing, and by Midcoast Denture Design, Down East Toyota, and Northeast Driving School. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is a production of Sportsnet Maine and Sports Radio 92.9 The Ticket. Now, let's get you out to the action on Ticket TV. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to High School Basketball here on Ticket TV. Today, a Class A North matchup between the Coney Rams and the Brewer Witches here from Brewer High School. I'm Jim Churchill, joined on the broadcast today by Ernie Clark. And Ernie, uh, Class A North, uh, we've seen the Brewer Witches a few times, and certainly they've had a test at the beginning of their season with their schedule. Coney also off to a good start. Well, these are two undefeated teams, They're both at 4-0 as we meet here right before Christmas and they were teams both of them that were expected to be among the upper echelon in Class A North and they've uh, certainly not let themselves down as both off to a uh, great start and a lot of heel points at stake today. And when you're talking about the Coney Rams obviously uh, a pace is a word that we'll talk about a lot today it's very up tempo they'll play a lot of players uh, they like to be up tempo defensively as well and one of their veterans back is Luke Briggs. Yeah, Luke Briggs is a player uh, who has been playing serious minutes since he was a freshman. And uh, it, because T.J. Means runs a lot of players through to get them uh, on the court defensively. We got those minutes early. Now he's taking on a leadership role. Uh, Coney remained undefeated on Tuesday night by beating Lawrence. He scored 21 points to lead the way. And for the Brewer Witches, a guy who's kind of burst onto the scene here in the early part of this season, we've seen a couple of uh, big efforts from Brock Flagg. Yeah, three 20-point games in a row. You look at the uh, the shooting numbers for him. He's shooting 61% from the field, 42% from beyond the three-point arc, and 81.8% from the free throw line. So if he gets in a position to make a shot so far this season, they've been going in. All right, should be a good one here this afternoon. It's the Coney Rams and the Brewer Witches, and we'll have more of the pregame show next. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss, find it at Quirk. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. You'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home, while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card, only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. Napa knows holiday savings. And with 29 locations in Maine, Coastal Auto Parts has everything you need to find the perfect gift this holiday season. Now through the end of the year, save on deals for the entire family. Save big on Milwaukee drilling ratchet and socket tool sets. Select beanies and stocking stuffer deals throughout the store. And while you're here, sign up for Napa Rewards. You'll save more each time you shop. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a main family that cares. Nothing runs like a deer. And Greenway Equipment Sales keeps your John Deere running year-round with convenient mobile maintenance service. We service most walk-behind and riding lawn equipment right in your yard in our specially equipped truck with no mess in your driveway. Our 14-point checkup will keep your John Deere running smoothly. We'll even change attachments for you. Call the Smith Brothers today to schedule expert service right at your door with two trucks now on the road to serve you better. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth and Bangor.
And welcome back to Brewer High School. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV crew on the scene here for this Class A North matchup between the Coney Rams and the Brewer Witches. And you see Luke Briggs right there, one of the key figures uh, for these Coney Rams, and uh, Brock Flagg, who's had a very good start to his junior season for the Brewer Witches. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Quirk Auto Group. Visit a Quirk Auto Group dealership in Bangor, Belfast, Augusta, or Portland, and at quirkauto.com. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is also brought to you by Mainly Supplements. Mainly Supplements is located near the Bangor Mall, and they are a fully stocked nutritional supplement store. Mainly Supplements, 109 Bangor Mall Boulevard in Bangor, right next to Hannaford, and at Mainly Supplements. Dot com. Bring in my broadcast partner, Ernie Clark, once again. And let's take a look, Ernie, at the program histories uh, for these two schools, at least the, the recent history uh, record-wise. And T.J. Mains has had a lot of success in his tenure. Yeah, sure has. And the Coney Rams are a factor in Class A North virtually every year these days. And if you look at the records last year, a little different. You can't really tell with a 7-6 and six mark. But you look at those other records, uh, 14 and 6 in 19 and 20. They, they made the uh, Class A North Championship game, lost to Hamden late in that game, and then before that, obviously, a couple of very good seasons. And Coney's one of the one of the uh, elite programs in the state historically, as well as you look back to the 60s and the 70s to see uh, three state championships. And obviously undefeated here in the 21-22 season. Now we'll turn our attention to the. Brewer Witches playing on their home court. They've had a lot of uh, home games against some uh, very good opponents. Uh, Nicomas, um, Skowhegan to start the season, and obviously Coney here today. Yep, in, in uh, mm -hmm. Class AA now, Hamden Academy the other night when uh, the Witches erupted for 87 points. But uh, you know, there's a, there's a uh, steadiness to that program in terms of Brewer that's not necessarily reflected in the record in 1819. They were just 10 and 13 overall, but they made it to the uh, Class A North semifinals, as was the case in uh, uh, 19, uh, excuse me, 2019 and 20. And then last year, uh, 13 and 2 captured the uh, Penobscot Valley Conference A and B and Double A, for that matter, yep. quad championships. So uh, Ben Goodwin's got this uh, program in a real nice place at this point, and they're off to a great start again this year. All right, uh, there's your program histories. want to remind you, high school basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you in part by Greenway Equipment Sales. Nothing runs like a deer in Bangor and Ellsworth and at greenwayequipment.com. All right, we'll take another time out. We'll come back. We'll get you Ernie's keys to the game. We'll get you the county PT injury report as well. And, of course, the starting lineups and the opening tip. That's up next. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Napa knows holiday savings. And with 29 locations in Maine, Coastal Auto Parts. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, free delivery within striking distance of their 21 locations statewide. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. At Midco Central Design, we truly understand the importance of offering an affordable treatment plan that always considers your needs first. We create beautiful new full and partial dentures, as well as offering repairs and relines to your current dentures. We want your denture to fit comfortably, be affordable, and most of all, make you happy. At Midco Denture Design, your smile is what matters most. In fact, it's our job to make sure you have a smile you can be proud of at a price you can afford. Call Midco Denture Design, because everyone deserves to have an awesome Back at Brewer High School, Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, as we get set for this Class A North matchup between the Rams of Coney High School and the Witches of Brewer High School. And before we get to the starting lineups, let's get to the county PT injury report. And as we scan things, uh, everybody looks uh, healthy and ready to go for this one once again. That's been uh, a common theme here in the early going. We hope it continues 
Injury Report brought to you by County Physical Therapy. They're located at 82 Sylvan Road in Bangor. They bring more than 30 years of experience from the county to the greater Bangor area. Immediate openings are available. Schedule your appointment today by calling 401-4324. From the Injury Report, we move to Ernie's uh, keys to the game. Rams and the Witches here in this uh, early season matchup. Well, for Coney, uh, they love to play the up-tempo, and they love to start it on the defensive end with full-court pressure. So they're going to look to force turnovers off that pressure and get easy baskets. Beyond that, they need to shoot well from the perimeter. They take a lot of three-point shots, generally speaking, and if they're falling, then they have a chance to beat anybody. And if they're not falling, then offense can become a struggle. For Brewer, again, off to a great start, 4-0. They've got to be able to handle the uh, Coney defensive pressure and make them pay for it at the other end. Don't just be happy to get the ball into uh, the offensive uh, end of the court, but take it all the way to the rim when you get a chance and make them make them pay. We're not quite as deep as uh, as Coney too, so when there is opportunity to run half court sets, you know, run that weave out around the top of the key and. Use a little time to shorten the game up. But uh, basically, it's, a, it, it's an opportunity for Brewer to see themselves a veteran front uh, backcourt against defensive pressure and, and try to make Tony pay for the pressure they put on. All right. Rosters uh, being introduced right now. And even though the holiday vacation has begun, still have a pretty good representation of the student body here at Brewer High School. Let's take a look here, Ernie, at the Coney Ram roster, head coached by T.J. Mains. Yeah, pretty good mix of classes. I see five, six seniors out of the 14 players. So, didn't get a chance to see them play last one to know how much uh, people progress. But again, they run a lot of players in games and uh, it gives kids a lot of experience at a younger age, so they're ready to make the step up to a leadership role when they become juniors and seniors. The last time we saw the Coney Rams, it would have been in, against the Hamden Academy Broncos down in Augusta. I think it was a 52 to 50 Hamden win in that one. Yep, very close game there in the final, just as it was when Hamden edged Brewer in the semifinals there. And I think Coney left that game thinking they had a chance to win a championship, one that slipped away, but Hamden did what they needed to do to return to the top of the heap in Class A North and eventually at the state championship game as well. All right, now we'll take a look at the uh, Brewer roster. And again, they're getting great work down low from junior Ryder Goodwin. Brock Fleck, as you mentioned in the first segment of the pregame show, he's hitting from everywhere. And then, of course, you have that steady Eddie ve veteran leadership in Aaron Newcomb and Colby Smith. Uh, even Brady Saunders has been playing for a number of years. Yeah, and the thing about the guards is they don't force the issue. Smith and uh, Newcomb. Uh, Newcomb takes those three-pointers because that's one of his strengths along with defense. And then Smith is kind of the glue guy. The ultimate playmaker does what needs to be done to help his team win. All right, we're going to get uh, our national anthem here momentarily is the TC color guard is at midcourt. Ready to go here at Brewer High School. Three-man officiating crew here for this one. The venerable Hawk Anderson is out there, Ernie. 
Nancy Hawk and Wayne Prescott. Can't see who's to uh, far back there. Maybe Dave Renault. I can't tell for sure, though. Yeah, but a veteran, from behind. A veteran crew, and I think yeah. probably they're grateful that uh, primarily the responsibilities are half a court with the three of them because uh, right. it's going to be a lot of change of possessions and uh, a lot of fast pace here. Uh, be interesting to see if the broadcasters can keep up. And a good move here by Brewer. I think this is a smart thing. They've been playing here at home, but their players are wearing the mask, which they are not required to do. Coney wearing their mask. Uh, here at Brewer, the players on the floor, uh, according to their rules, unless they've changed them. I'm not sure if they've changed them, but Brewer might just be getting conditioned for some upcoming road games. We're underway. Coney with the basketball to get things started. And that ball is going to be knocked away by Aaron Newcomb. Starters for uh, the Coney Rams. We've got uh, Luke Briggs on the floor. Also out there is Caleb Stred. Here's a take to the hole and a lay-in. That is Cam Dewan. Gets Coney on the board early. Also out there, Parker Sargent. And finally, Braden Barbeau. Here's a shot from the corner, and Aaron Newcomb picks up right where he left off the other night. Ernie, he had six threes. He's got one already in this one. Yeah, actually seven. Seven for 13. Oh, he had seven. From uh, three-point land, and he's, like you say, started right off again very hot. And Flag had the ball knocked away after Brewer picked off the rebound. Cross-court pass coming to Saunders. Brady out top. Colby Smith. Goodwin touched it briefly, wide open underneath is Brock Flagg. Great ball movement there by Brewer. Yeah, they just had Coney's defense uh, reacting uh, with every single pass, and Flagg got down to the baseline, was wide open. Now we got a foul coming here against the Witches. Coney's going to look defensively, too, to double team in the half court whenever they get a chance and that again creates opportunities for Brewer to have a man advantage near the basket if they can recognize it and uh, make the pass before the double team gets there. Shot is good at the line for the Rams as Caleb Spread ties up the game at three or check that makes it a 5-3 score. Three from Newcomb, the two from Flag for Brewer. Second one rolls off, no good. One for two at the line for Stred, which is with the 5 3 lead. Just a minute and a half into this ball game. Near corner, Flag, quick fire and hit. Well, Brewer right now very comfortable on this floor at least. Yes, yeah, just the fourth home game that they've had out of their first five, and certainly are ex exhibiting a comfort zone here early in this contest. That's the thing about Flag and his shot. It is so quick. You can't get to it. Uh, he's just playing with so much confidence right now. We mentioned 42% from beyond the three-point line and 61% from the field overall. Reverse layup. Uh, Left-handed attempt there by Cam Dewan. Came up empty. Here come the Witches, and that pass knocked down by a Ram. Picked up here by Barbeau, driving into the paint, Sargent. Corner shot up by Stred, and that's off the rim, no good. And the rebound into the hands of Colby Smith. Colby brings it up the left side. Very adept with both hands. Saunders lobs one on the wing. Newcomb delivers another one. That's nine threes in his last two games, and we're just getting started in this and one. And first three for three from beyond the arc in this game already. And nice cut to the basket, but the Witches again getting those hands and arms in the passing lane. It's going to be knocked, off, knocked out of bounds by Flag. And here comes a new contingent of Rams into the ball game. Checking in uh, Brady Hopkins, also on the floor now Ashton Dennett. And who did I miss? Dominic Napolitano. Napolitano. Number 14. Yes, indeed. Napolitano with the basketball. Stops at the elbow. Sargent picked up his dribble. Here's Briggs in the corner being harassed by Saunders, and Saunders will take it away. Brady goes behind the back, pushing it up the floor. Newcomb another try, and this one is too strong. Long rebound. Picked up by Coney. They're on the run now. Doing 
in the corner. Briggs for three, and he hits right in front of his student body. Took a quick look back at them. Brewer forcing the issue here. Long pass down court and a foul against Coney. Yeah, Brewer trying to beat that pressure all the way down the court and did pick up the foul. Good foul actually by Coney to uh, prevent the layup by Saunders. All on the floor. And a shot there by Goodwin is blocked. 11 to 6 our score. Here comes Coney and now it's 11 to 8. As that was uh, Cam Dewan. He's got four points here in the early going. Pass inside to Goodwin. Kicks it out to Saunders. Fakes the pass. Open for three. And he drains it. Yeah, Brewer just, uh, again, four for five from beyond the <laughs> three-point arc. That's tough to beat. That shot flung up there, and it's good. Two points for Ashton Dennett. There's that pressure from Coney. Brewer breaks it. Three on two, and Flag can't get it to go. You're right. Brewer's able to uh, get it uh, past that first line of defense, Ernie. It generally is uh, at least a man advantage at the other end. This was the case on that last attempt. Coney with a miss. We got caught with our heads down a couple times in that last game against Hamden. You can't uh, let that happen here tonight, Ernie, because yeah. we will miss a lot of action. Here is Goodwin. Nice fake. Gets the defender off the ground, and then he powers his way up for two. Yeah, good ball movement again by Brewer with uh, flag on the assist. Here come the witches again. Newcomb going up with the left hand. It's going to get fouled by Napolitano. Dominic with the foul there as we take another look at it. Newcomb using the left hand there. And he took the body of Napolitano, so Aaron will be at the line. Another key to Brewer's success has been their free throw shooting. Newcomb at the line here, and his first one is no good. Right on cue. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, players who play a lot, and uh, of their top six, the lowest is 66.7% from the three-point line. Kobe Smith at 100%, just three attempts. Newcomb 12 for 15 before that one. Second one is good. So one for two at the line for Aaron. That makes it 17 to 10, Brewer. Changes for the Witches. Goodwin and flag out. Evan Neto and Cam Hughes in. Sergeant. Spins, scoops it up, hits the side of the backboard, but a foul coming here against Cam Hughes. Yeah, just a one-on-one -on -one play there. Isolation and number 33 for Coney. Parker Sargent gets his way to the line trying to work against the bigger Cam Hughes. And Sargent hits the first of two. He's into the scorebook. Chance for everybody to rest. <sighs> Sergeant. Peek at the rim and misses the free throw. So he is one for two at the line, which is up by six. They have the basketball. Smith double team, sneaks through it. And now finds a wide open Newcomb. He turns and fires, and that's a miss. One and done for the Witches. Stred with the rebound. Stred quickly up court. Napolitano. It's Dom Napolitano. He tries to get it out top. And it's saved from a backcourt violation there. Nice save by number 23. I guess that was 33 for Tony with the save there. Sergeant. Sergeant there. And then a good play along the baseline by Evan Neto. Good block of pass. Almost had it picked off, but uh, Tony gets it back. Here's the handoff, and the Rams and Caleb Stred will get the bounce, and they'll cut the deficit to four. Yeah, he's done that a couple of times. Uh, get to the center of the court, into the lane when the ball is spending time over along the sideline and getting high percentage shots. Open is Saunders for three, and that one wide of the mark. Again, just one shot for the Witches. Here comes Coney. Chance to cut the deficit in half or to one point. 
He'll try to make it a one-point deficit, and that one is off no good. Nice check out there by Hughes. As he kept Stred away from the basketball, the Witches gain control. Smith, long pass up ahead. Here's Hughes on the block. Bowlby Smith drops it back to Saunders. Newcomb drives, had a tip from behind, and a foul. Kitchen foul there. I believe that's going to be against Napolitano. Yes, indeed. It's almost an automatic. Yep. Nice play by Brewer. Gets the ball into the lane, and as you saw there, uh, Newcomb had a uh, pass to the baseline for a wide open layup, but for the foul, the third foul against Coney here in the first half. Pass comes into Goodwin, Ryder Goodwin, and Brock Flag back into the ball game. Newcomb and Saunders getting a break right now. Here's Goodwin going up for two, bounced off the back of the rim into the hands of Briggs for Coney. Here come the Rams. Briggs will try a three. That one halfway down, popped out. And that is going to be a walk. Cam Hughes tried to do two things at once there. But that's, again, that's the pacing that uh, yep. Coney tries to do defensively to get you thinking or not thinking. In that case, uh, turnover by Brewer. Just the uh, third, I think, on the Witches here in the uh, second, excuse me, in the first quarter. And wide open underneath. Reverse layup is up and good by Cam Dewan. He's got six points to lead the way for the Rams. They trail it by just two now. That ball is going to be off the fingertips of Dewan. Across the near sideline. Neto will put it in play. Goes in backcourt to Smith. Colby crosses over. Guarded by Dewan. Goes to Goodwin. Which is appear to be going for the final shot. Let's see. Maybe not. Cam Hughes left open underneath. Misses the layup. Which is get it back though. Smith drives. Puts it up off the window. That rolls off no good. And now it's Coney with a chance to take the final shot here in this first quarter. A couple of tremendous opportunities there for Brewer, but they come up empty. Here's Briggs, two seconds. They're gonna run out of time. They do get the shot off, but it's short. Missed there by Barbeau, and that will do it for the first quarter. High energy first quarter, close first quarter, 17 to 15 Brewer. This is high school basketball on the ticket. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. You'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home, while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That's simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card, only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. Back to Brewer High School. Quick score for Brady Saunders to make it 19 to 15 witches. Brady now has five points. Original starting lineup out there for Brewer. Here's Luke Briggs swooping in for two points. He's got five. Yeah, pretty smooth play. Saunders is getting the defensive assignment on him, but that time doing who had shot from the outside a couple of times over on that right side decided to Kind of fake the jump shot and then drive to the basket. Briggs, Dewan, Sargent, Dennett. That shot is no good there from Ryder Goodwin and also out there for Coach TJ Maines as far bow. Second foul on Brock Flagg. 
keep our eye on that. Along the baseline into the corner now, it's Luke Briggs for three. Round and out. Out left pass near midcourt. Saunders takes it all the way to the hole and puts it up and in. Yeah, he seems to like this free flowing game. It allows him to move toward the basket. He's off to a good start. And we got a foul here against Brewer. So we'll take another look at the take by Brady Saunders. Cody's defense playing for the pass, and Saunders went straight through three of the Rams for his six and seventh points of the game. Foul against Ryder Goodwin. Brock Flagg's going to take a seat on the Brewer bench. He's got two. Politano picked up by Newcomb. Dominic comes to Barbeau into the lane. Here's a shot put up by Cam Dewan. That's a little too hard. And the rebound to Neto. Three on one. Good one underneath the basket. And count the hoop and one for Ryder Goodwin. Nice fast break there by the Witches. And there's Neto as distributor. Off to Goodwin. Takes that extra step off the dribble to get closer to the basket and gets the foul from behind. Was a little frustrated here at the start, but might get him going. He's got four points. He misses the free throw, so it's 23-17, which is all alone underneath. Little breakdown there by the Brewer defense is Brady Hopkins. Picks up his first two of the afternoon. Yeah, you've got to get back uh, quickly against Coney. They're not going to uh, settle for a half-court set after a made basket at the other end. Here is one up and off the window from Colby Smith. Not an easy angle, but a great touch there by Smith. He'll be with his first two, which is up by six again. Dewan fakes the shot, drives the baseline, floats one up with the left hand, rolls off the iron into the hands of Colby Smith. Gets it out near midcourt to Goodwin, and Goodwin fakes the pass, and he drives all the way home. Yeah, once you get the ball pat to half court, you've got a break. That time was four on three, and again, Coney playing the pass. And the Witches with their own pressure. Here's Brady Saunders, he'll lay it in. And TJ Mains needs a timeout. Saunders up to nine. So we take a look right here at the great defense by Saunders, and then he's ahead of the pack for an easy bucket. Entertaining game so far. High school basketball on Ticket TV. Is brought to you in part by First National Bank. First National Bank, three first because you can. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Tell you what, I didn't. <laughs> I looked up the scoreboard and saw that Brewer was up by 10, and it was like, holy smokes, that <laughs> happened in a hurry, <laughs> actually. But a uh, couple of turnovers and a couple of fast breaks. Uh, Brewer outscoring Coney here in the last couple of minutes, uh, 10 to 2 to build that lead to 10 points. It happens in a hurry, uh, good or bad, for the Coney Rams a lot of times. And Brewer certainly, to this point at least, being able to handle the pressure that Coney's bringing and, and making them pay for it. Yeah, and we've seen Brewer's uh, defense really turn into a lot of offense in the games we've done so far here. Missed by Coney, but Napolitano with the offensive uh, rebound. Luke Briggs had it knocked away briefly by Saunders. Napolitano along the baseline, back out to Briggs, and he travels. Yeah, again, that's active half-court defense there by Brewer. We talked about, and we talked, I know, the other day against Hamden about the length that they have, arm, arm length and whatnot. And so while they're not the tallest team in the world, they've got some kids with some pretty uh, good wingspans, and that uh, just makes passing the ball against them and even dribbling the ball against them that much more difficult. Good one. Down low, collision, and that'll be a player. Yeah, close call there, but uh, Goodwin had the shot, short jumper, but he wanted a little bit more uh, in terms of a layup, and so he took that chance of going into uh, traffic and got called for his second foul. Sam Flannery into the ball game for Coney, and do we have a tie-up? Yes, we do. 
Call is finally made. It was Goodwin on the floor with Flannery. Again, gets that, uh, gets that long arm in there and causes havoc, and now he's going to sit with a couple of fouls. Politano will come out for Coney. So it's Brady Hopkins, Sam Flannery, Caleb Stred, Luke Briggs, and Cam Dewan on the floor for the Rams. And there's a nice cut and take there by Caleb Stred. He's up to five points. Rams cut the deficit to eight. Saunders to Newcomb. Hasn't tried one in a while, so he'll take a three-point shot, and he will hit it. That's three number, threes. Yeah, number three, three for six from long range for Newcomb. Oh, and again, a beautiful cut and a nice pass there by Flannery and laying it in once again is Stred. Yeah, that's, I mean, they spread their offensive players all over the half court, so they were able to run those two-man sets, and that was just a well-executed play. Here's Saunders in the corner, drives baseline, cutting to the hole as Colby Smith gets the feed from Saunders and lays it in. Boy, they just see each other so well. I mean, the ball movement and the player movement in this first half by both teams is so impressive. Open for three, Doing can't hit it. Rebound to Hughes, here come the Witches. Newcomb, corner, Saunders, quick fire, and does not hit that one who's got the rebound. It's going to be Coney tracking it down as Brady Hopkins. Doing to the near side, hands it off to Stred. Into the paint, scooping one up. Very tough shot there by Brady Hopkins. Got it around the hand of a Brewer defender and then kiss it off the window for two points. Yeah, left-handed and trying to get around one of Brewer's best defenders, Colby Smith, and was able to pull it off. Oh, good read there by Briggs. Smith was trying to get it down low to Hughes. The takeaway by Briggs, and now a carry by Dewan. It's just an entertaining game, don't you think? It is. It's fun to watch. I mean, it, it reminds me of, you know, that Coney Hamden get a little more high yeah. scoring, but just back and forth and everybody working so hard. And it's just at a different pace from what you yeah. normally see. It's... I say free flowing, it's, it, it, it's really not in a way, but it is because they're getting up and down the court. And then you see the execution against or within the pace of the game, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, the ball movement, player movement is just beautiful. Missed there by Colby Smith, and Napolitano will come out of the pack with the basketball, approaching the two minute mark here in this first half. They're up by nine, and Still up by nine. Hughes with the rebound after the miss by Sargent. Dangerous outlet pass there. Smith comes up with it. Now he's going to need some help. And he's going to throw it to a ram. And here is Stred having his shot blocked. No. We've got a foul coming against Brady Saunders. Yeah, Saunders didn't like that. He thought he might have stepped out of bounds, but the double team forces the turnover. Here's Coney, two on one fast break. Ball underneath. And not to see anything there. Mm. Saunders thought he might have caught the ball standing on the end line, but uh, a little bit surprised when the foul was called, but uh, that will send Stred, I believe, to the free throw line. Yep, Caleb Stred at the line. He's got seven points. He can make it eight. He's now two for three at the free throw line. Just one of two games today here on Ticket TV. We'll get to our broadcast schedule coming up, but... Tonight at 7 p.m., it is the Bucksport Golden Buck Boys taking on the Orono Red Riot Boys at Orono High School. Stritt, two for two at the stripe. Seven-point lead for Brewer. They have the basketball. Smith puts on the brakes. Long pass up ahead to Neto. He turns, fires. That's a miss. And the rebound to Napolitano. Napolitano. This is Dominic. Takes it to the right block. Pulls up. Doesn't get the bounce, and the rebound to Hughes. Cam Hughes can bring some physical play and some rebounding to this witch unit. Saunders, no-look pass, open Newcomb. That three, no good. Offensive rebound, right on cue. Cam Hughes keeps it alive for Brewer. They work it around the perimeter. Smith, elbow, Neto for three. Got it. And the Neto was itching to get into the scorebook. Hits that three from the corner. Ten point advantage once again for Brewer. One minute left to go and Coney 
Strikes right back. This is Braden Barbeau. A lot of left-handedness with Coney, too. Here's Brady Saunders, a tricky move on the left side. He is into double figures now at 11. A miss by Coney. Another rebound for Napolitano. Straight up and down. And a chance for a three-point play for Dominic Napolitano. He has been a force on the glass. Well, he has. Not that big a kid. Probably around six feet. But uh, gets to the spot there along the baseline. Anticipates the shots. And now he's going to head back to the line. Bow and Stred out. Flannery getting set to come back in. Ashton Dennett is in and over the line. I believe it was Napolitano, so wipe that one off the board. It's 39-31 Brewer. Flannery in. Napolitano checking out. Dewan's out there. Sargent's out there along with Briggs. And Dennett for Brewer. It's Smith, Saunders, Hughes. Newcomb and Neto. It's Ryder Goodwin and Brock Flagg getting a big rest here in this first half. They also have a pair of fouls. And Newcomb just keeps the train rolling. He's got four threes. I'll tell you what, uh, Reggie Saunders knows where to pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Missed there by Flannery down low. Rebound to Saunders. Smith. Down the left side of the lane, his pass knocked away and taken away by Dewan. And Dewan trying to thread the needle there to Flannery, had it knocked away. Dewan gets it back. Buzzer shot, does it count? Yes, it does. So a two pointer just before the buzzer there by Cam Dewan. As Cam is up to eight points now, and Coney cuts the deficit to nine. Ernie. I'll let well, you take a deep breath here in a second, but uh, need your first half thoughts. I think it's pretty much what we might have expected coming into the game, although for this early in the season, it's really being played at a high level considering it's a pace of the game that, while Coney is used to it, Brewer doesn't do it consistently for 32 minutes. They, they run at times, but certainly they're uh, pushing the pace more tonight, and this is clearly a game that is in Brady Saunders' wheelhouse because he is scoring, like he hasn't scored that much the last couple of games, but yep. he's also distributing as well. He probably has three or four assists, uh, mostly to uh, Newcomb, who continues to uh, shoot from long range like he did the other night against Hamden when he was 7 for 13 from three-point land. And there's fan cam, some of the fans in attendance here today. Notice the student body has gone from the blaze orange to more of a Santa Claus theme here today. Hunting season's over, and so now <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> Awaiting the uh, arrival of Santa here in a couple of nights. That's right. All right, we got the halftime report coming up next. It's brought to you by Mainly Supplements. Keep it right here, 42-33, Brewer at the half. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Napa knows holiday savings. And with 29 locations in Maine, Coastal Auto Parts has everything you need to find the perfect gift this holiday season. Now through the end of the year, save on deals for the entire family. Save big on Milwaukee drilling ratchet and socket tool sets. Select beanies and stocking stuffer deals throughout the store. And while you're here, sign up for Napa Rewards. You'll save more each time you shop. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a main family that cares. Nothing runs like a deer. And Greenway Equipment Sales keeps your John Deere running year-round with convenient mobile maintenance service. We service most walk-behind and riding lawn equipment right in your yard in our specially equipped truck with no mess in your driveway. Our 14-point checkup will keep your John Deere running smoothly. We'll even change attachments for you. Call the Smith Brothers today to schedule expert service right at your door with two trucks now on the road to serve you better. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth and Bangor. Back at Brewer High School, Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV crew, Max Pottle, directing today. We've got Max Straub on camera, Aiden Crystal on camera, and the lead camera person is Marcus Caesar. This is the Mainly Supplements Halftime Show. Mainly Supplements, 109 Bangor Mall Boulevard in Bangor and at mainlysupplements.com. And let's take a look at our first half 
highlights, and we have plenty of them to choose from. Max has been cutting these up as we've gone along. Again, the passing, the player movement so impressive. Eric Newcomb, that's his first of four threes, had seven the other night against Hamden. Brady Saunders has been very much involved in this one. Draws a defense, and there's a Brock Flag for a layup. And Colby Smith going into the corner. Here's Flag for three. Boy, he just, I mean, he had the ball in his hand for about an eighth yeah. of a second on that one. Newcomb again finding some space on that right wing. So Coney's going to put pressure on out on the, along the perimeter between the top of the key and half court. If you can just get it by that, then you've usually got something like a three on two advantage. Here come the Rams. Cam Dewan in the corner. Luke Briggs puts up the three, hits that one. And this was how it worked just up and down the floor. Saunders getting ahead of the pack, laying that one in. I see you come over in the right corner wide open, and uh, <laughs> Brady says, it's my turn here, and uh, Taking knocks this down one. a three. Here's Saunders again going through the defense. You see three defenders back, but they're both worried about the three-point shooting on the, on the sides, and so that gave, gave Saunders a chance to go to the rim. And when you're retreating like that, the offensive player certainly has the advantage, and there's Saunders again. Getting ahead of the pack. Newcomb waiting to tee another one up and hits that one. Saunders again making things happen. There's a cutting Smith there. What you're seeing is a lot of assists by Brewer in the first half. Yes. As, uh, they're making the extra pass to get the open shot. Here's Evan Neto off a feed from. Colby Smith, I believe, for the three-pointer. Assists are a beautiful thing. They really are. They really make the game of basketball so much prettier. There's a nice drive there by the Coney Rams. Here comes Saunders again. He's just really having a lot of fun out there today, and that time just takes it to all the way to the rim. Yeah, fun game to watch, and uh, if you're a Brewer Witch fan, you're happy right now. You're uh, up by nine. And that's with uh, Goodwin and uh, Flag sitting on the bench yes. uh, for much of the first half with just two fouls, didn't pick up uh, the third, and so now they're in position to come back out to start the second half, and uh, probably aching to get into this kind of a kind of a game. It's a fun game to play as well, just up and down, back and forth, and and with the unselfish nature of really both teams, but in particular the veteran Brewer team, it's uh, like you said before, it's a fun game to watch because you see uh, execution and you see the ball go through the basket a lot. All right, we're going to take another break here in the Mainly Supplements Halftime Show. We'll come back, take a look at the school profiles. We'll look at our upcoming broadcast schedule and much more coming your way. High school basketball right here on Ticket TV. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With a new location in Bangor, County Physical Therapy brings a 30-year history of high-performance, outcome-based rehab to the Great Skates Plaza at 82 Sylvan Road. And with priority scheduling, you get seen in days, not weeks. Remember, it's your choice. Make the best choice. County Physical Therapy, now in Bangor. Call them today at 401-4324 or visit them online at countypt.com. You're late again. Why, Mr. Scrooge, I've been out celebrating Toyotathon, and another load of new Toyotas has just arrived. I will not stand for this. Therefore, I'm giving you the entire day off. You've done such a great job finding new Toyota for our wonderful customers. The future holds more truckloads of Toyotas for all. Come pre-purchase shows now during Toyotathon. All roads lead to Down East. We are back at Brewer High School as we get the uh, angle from the stage here at Brewer High School. Now, we did have one fan. She may be listening. It's actually uh, Phil Pushard's uh, mother who is watching out in uh, Michigan. And uh, she said she likes the stage cam. She does? So, yes. Yep. So uh, well, We want to take care of her. That's right. All right, let's take a look at the uh, school profiles here. First for Coney High School. Now, they have a new school. What's it? I don't know. 
five, six years, something like something that. Something like that. Yeah. They have new uh, artificial turf uh, for their high school uh, football field starting this year as well. So big things going on in the capital city. 679, the enrollment. It's a school that's gradually uh, decreased in enrollment as more people living out in the uh, outskirts. In, in, in the outskirts, places like Erskine Academy and getting bigger. And uh, Kim Silsby, the uh, principal, and John Millett, the athletic administrator at Coney High School. And uh, for Brewer High School, here on Parkway South and Brewer, enrollment 742. Brent Slowakowski, the principal, he is here. I believe he's out uh, putting Ben Gay on his uh, <laughs> fist pump. Right elbow? Yes. Uh, yes, he does the, he does the fist pump uh, quite frequently here at Brewer High School. Dave Utterback is up at the uh, uh, indoor track meet today. Okay. So he is not here. Now let's take a look at our upcoming broadcast schedule here on Ticket TV as the two teams prepare to take the floor here in the second half. Brewer again leading at 42-33. Coming up tonight on Ticket TV, it's the Bucksport Golden Bucks at Orno on the boys' side. And then on Tuesday, we'll have uh, a couple of games at the Class A and AA levels. Uh, girls games, Mount Blue at Brewer. Hamden at Bangor, that should be a good one. And uh, we have two games on Thursday as well, as we have a double header, Ellsworth at Orono Boys first, and then Ellsworth at Orono Girls after that, all on Ticket TV, and in that case on the Big East Network as well. All right, we're gonna get this uh, second half underway. Ernie, again, they need to give us 15 minutes for our halftime show, so we're gonna ask you to weave in your, at least your scoring totals. To get things started. And just add two more to Ryder Goodwin's total as the Witches again making it work at the offensive end. And at the other end, Coney gets a three from Cam Dewan. It was about six seconds it took him to get <laughs> uh, the ball up the court for the three pointer. Dewan now with 11. Smith, Saunders in the paint. And he gets fouled. That gives you an opening, Ernie, to get in some scoring total. Yeah, as of halftime uh, for Brewer, Saunders, uh, excuse me, Newcomb 13, Saunders 11, Goodwin 6, 5 for Flag, 4 for Smith, and 3 for Neto for their total of 42. Here's Brady Saunders for 3. A little too strong. Offensive rebound, though, by Colby Smith. Had it knocked away, wraps it around, gets it to Newcomb in the corner, but couldn't hold on to it. Picked up by a Santa Claus there. And well, he gave it back. He didn't keep it. Oh, he's a giver. Six turnovers unofficially for Brewer in the first half. Take there by Barbeau. Shot no good. Rebounds a good one for Brewer. Outlets it to Newcomb. He gives it off to Smith. Now Aaron gets it back, which is finally get it into the front court. Saunders working against two Rams. Smith open his Newcomb. Fires away and hits once again. Five threes now for Aaron, he's up to 16. Yeah, just patience, working the ball into the front court against the press. Again, drawing the defenders out toward mid court and he creates open spaces around the three point line and in. Going in the corner, up top to Stred. He's doing with it, he'll dribble it out top. Sergeant, quick turn and he misses that three point attempt and it's ripped down by Goodwin. Faces a double team. He's going to dribble it up himself. Up ahead to Newcomb. A little too close to the basket there. Gets it off to Flagg, who oh. drives his way through the lane. And Brock Flagg, who didn't play a lot in that first half, has not lost any of his energy level or his moves. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, you, you kind of wonder if he's going to work it around the perimeter. He said, no, I'm going to the rim here. And left-handed, a little floater from really seven or eight feet. Yeah. Not an easy shot at all, but... Uh, with a lot of confidence, a little bit of English on it, and uh, knocked it down to uh, give him seven points in the game here. Uh, give you Coney's leaders at halftime, too, as well. Uh, Cam Dewan with 10, nine for Caleb Stred, four for Brady Hopkins, three apiece, or three for uh, Luke Briggs, and those are the leaders for the Rams, as uh, Briggs with uh, just the three, uh, three points, the one three-point field goal. That's a good defensive effort by Brewer, in particular, uh, Brady Saunders, who's on the man-to-man -man assignment. All right, Rams out of the timeout, down by 13. 
Here's a shot at the six minute mark here in the third quarter by Sargent, no good. Weak side rebound doing. He's gonna be forced out of bounds by Goodwin. I believe that is Ryder's third. It is. So we have two games on Ticket TV today. We also have the drive coming up at 4 p.m. So Ernie and myself, we're gonna leave Brewer High School. That three rims out, no good. Offensive rebound by Barbo. Left-handed shot, no good. Rebound to Saunders. Ernie and I are gonna depart Brewer High School. We have a very short trip to the ticket studios and we'll be part of the drive this afternoon. Here's Luke Briggs getting back into the scorebook. Did you total up your points at the half? I you, yeah, I did. I'll okay. have to. I thought Briggs had another two-pointer. That's possible. Here's a floater by Colby Smith along the left baseline. No good, but there's Ryder Goodwin. Another offensive rebound, and Ryder straight up and down for two more points. He's in the double figures. And that was Briggs at the other end. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, really? <laughs> I think we were here the other day like this. I was just bit. writing Goodwin's two pointer down. 51 to 40, so Coney definitely within striking distance. All kinds of time left, about 13 minutes. Their comeback's going to have to come at the defensive end because they're really not stopping for much at this point. There you go. Yeah. Turnover by Brewer, the takeaway by Dewan, and he'll take it all the way in for two points. He's got five in the quarter. He's got 13 on the afternoon. Here's Flag, and he's going to get fouled by Briggs, and good sportsmanship there by Luke going over to help Brock up off the floor. Flag can really get a shot anytime he wants because he's got the versatility of right. the drive and the accuracy from the line. You see, you can tell with Brock Flagg, like he's done a lot on his own. Like just, whether it's shooting around in here or in the driveway, he's done a lot of that. Oh, absolutely. That's his father and assistant coach. Right. For the Witches, grandfather Carl Parker, longtime coach in the area. So there's a lot of basketball being practiced and played in that family. Brock hit the first one, second one is in and out. And it's not quite saved in by Napolitano. He had his foot on the line. So that's going to give it back to the Witches. And I have one vivid memory of T.J. Maines from that Hamden yeah. Coney game down in Augusta. And I mean, he's he's always into it. And yes, he is. A couple calls he didn't like. Flag tries the three. Off no good. On the weak side rebound, picking that up is Ashton Dennett. Dennett goes behind the back, kicks it out to a teammate. Stred wide open for three off the front of the iron, no good. Right directly into the hands of Brock Flag. Flag in the air, gives it to Smith. Holby in the corner to Ryder. Good one all open underneath is Brady Saunders. There it is again. Brewer going right over the top of the defense to an open witch underneath the hoop. Saunders with 13, and a walk here against Coney. So the Brewer defensive pressure has uh, forced some turnovers here today. Yeah, some gambling going on defensively by Coney, looking to double team the ball whenever they can, and that leaves people open, and that time, uh, great look. Uh, I think it was Goodwin to Saunders for that basket. And the walk at the other end. More pressure coming from Coney. Nice job by Brewer breaking it. Saunders again, wide open, and that one rims out. Rebound to Dewan. Quick outlet. Here come the Rams. Dennett gives to Briggs. Briggs, a little hesitation move around the Brewer defense. Misses the layup, and the rebound to Flag. Lob pass ahead to Goodwin, and he'll take an extra step. Evan Glass coming to the ball game for Brewer, and Ryder Goodwin will get a break. Yep, three fouls. Might see him sit the rest of the quarter. And a three ball here is wide right and goes directly out of bounds. Yeah, that memory of uh, TJ Maines. I have a feeling I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it winds up with. Uh, how I can't remember what it? the object was. A, was Nick, a Nick Folk impersonation? <laughs> yes. Is that what we're talking about? 
Great form. Here's Evan Glass with the lay-in on the feed from Brock Flagg. So Evan Glass into the scorebook. Yeah, he did a soccer-style kick. I don't know if it was on a towel or what it was. A bottle, maybe a water bottle or something. But again, terrific form. He was, he was a frustrated man at that point. Brock Flagg's going to take a seat. He's very animated. Father, In a good way. Yeah, his father, a long-time coach, yeah, Tom Maines. Tom. Led uh, Morse High School to three consecutive Class A championships back in the mid-'80s, mid to late-'80s. Boy, Brewers handling this pressure quite well. Just patient, not trying to overdo it. They've had some turnovers along the way, but overall, against this unrelenting pressure, they have managed it quite well. Here's Saunders. Hands the glass. Glass goes to Smith. And a poked away there by Dom Napolitano. And Coach Ben Goodwin sensing things were... A little discombobulated there, calls the timeout, and we will take it as well. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, free delivery within striking distance of their 21 locations statewide. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. At Midco Century Design, we truly understand the importance of offering an affordable treatment plan that always considers your needs first. We create beautiful new full and partial dentures, as well as offering repairs and relines to your current dentures. We want your denture to fit comfortably, be affordable, and most of all, make you happy. At Midco Century Design, your smile is what matters most. In fact, it's our job to make sure you have a smile you can be proud of at a price you can afford. Call Midco Century Design, because everyone deserves to have an awesome Back at Brewer High School, 2.05 left to go here in the third quarter. Brewer Witches playing here at home with a 14-point lead. You can make it at least 16 as Brady Saunders picks up two more. He gets fouled by Dominic Napolitano, and Brady will go to the line yeah, to try some, to make it a three-point play. Some little move there, too, as he changed it to his left hand right at the last second. Actually, as he was going up as uh, Coney got up over there defensively, but uh, dribble penetration by Colby Smith. And uh, essentially a no-look pass set that up. Brady Saunders does indeed complete the three-point play. I'd have him for 16 minutes. Yep. All right. Coney in a bit of trouble here. Still all kinds of time left. Quarter plus, about a minute 45. Left here in the third. Here's Dewan. He floats one up in the lane. All net. Cam Dewan has had a nice day at the office. He has seven points in the quarter, 15 in the game. The ball knocked away from Cam Hughes, going to go off Coney. Yeah, see, I've got, uh, I think, one hoop. I think we're at, at uh -oh. odds are in terms okay. of Briggs versus Dewan. Gotcha. Comes into glass. Saunders to Newcomb. Hasn't hit a three in a while, so he'll get back to work. Six in this one. He had seven in the last game. And that's going to be a foul against Cam Dewan. Holding his ground there was Cam Hughes. Ah, the left arm. That's what did it, I think. Yeah. Boy, it just it, it's, it can't be oppressed enough with Gore. Just so many different ways to score, and a, but there's a team concept to all of it. They're also getting back defensively so that. Uh, they do Tony turn it over him. here. Dewan can't hit the shot. Tipped around, finally picked off in the air by Hughes. Up ahead it goes to Glass. Evan caught in a double team. Goes to Saunders. Saunders back out to Smith. Here's uh, Newcomb going for number seven. And that one a little too hard. Here comes Napolitano in the corner. Sergeant quick fire. He hits. Parker Sargent with his first field goal of the game. Brewer with the lead of 15 and the basketball. Final 35 seconds. Brewer not waiting around. Cam Hughes 
On the feed, the dish there by Colby Smith picks up two points. Yeah, Smith sees somebody on the baseline and then just dribbles toward him until the defender comes out. It's layup after layup. Foul at the other end against Evan Glass. Briggs and Dennett coming back in, doing. Hopkins coming out for Coach T.J. Maines. Colby Smith, I believe that's his first break of the night. He'll take a seat on the Brewer bench with 25.6 on the clock. Neto into the ball game for him. So move along the baseline there by Sargent. Got around Hughes, missed the shot. Rebound by Newcomb. Neto into the front court. Evan goes to Saunders. Seven seconds left. Brady puts things in motion. Here's Glass into the lane, and the shot is up, and it will drop. Things working to perfection for the Brewer Witches here today as they lead the undefeated Coney Rams 66 to 47, which is <coughs> going for the final shot here, Aaron, and it's Evan Glass. Yeah, and you, I mean, we haven't seen a lot of him this year, but he comes in and looks like he's playing all the time. Confidence there on that runner with the clock running down. Glass with uh, four points now. High school basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you in part by First National Bank. Dream first because you can. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Our coverage is also brought to you by County Physical Therapy. Located at 82 Sylvan Road in Bangor, they bring more than 30 years of experience from the county to the greater Bangor area. Immediate openings are available. Schedule your appointment today by calling 401-4324. Get some of the fans in attendance here. Which is back on the court. Rams joining them as we get set for fourth quarter action. They have uh, Saunders with seven assists in this game wow. as well. And I'm sure that Smith is probably around that same total. Oh, player goes down for Brewer. That ball was wide open. It's going to be Sargent finally taking the three-point shot. Napolitano again, another rebound for Dominic Napolitano. In the corner, Briggs uh, tees one up, misses it, and the rebound's going to go out of bounds. And it's going to be Brewer basketball. High school basketball on Ticket TV is also brought to you by Dean's Detailing. Been Maine's auto detailing leader for 50 years. Tis the season, and Dean's gift cards are the perfect fit. Call 945-3016 or book your, or, or pardon me, purchase your gift cards at deansdetailing.com. I was distracted there by another three-point attempt by Aaron Newcomb. He had his shot block. Here's Brock Flag going to work again. Taking a hit, so quickly help back to his feet. He's got a field goal, and he's going to try to add a free throw. Does a nice job using his body to create some space to get off the shot. Certainly, that was the case there. Rock now two for three at the line. He's got 11 points. Politano. Here's the pass, and it's going to be off the hands of Dennett. Picked off by Newcomb, ahead to Flag, who lays it up and in. Here's Briggs. Just on the surface, Ernie. And there's a shot is made there by Aiden Barbo. He's got four. Looks like Brewer might have more offensive weapons here. Yeah, they do, and uh, I mean, again, they've played all kinds of different ways here so far this, far this season, and it's all worked. We'll get a hand check out on the perimeter, denying Brock Flag another drive to the basket. Yeah, really, anybody you put the ball in the hands of Brewer can do something positive with it, and we're seeing it here this afternoon. Beating Coney at its own game in some respects when they get in transition, they're not... Uh, they're not in fear of uh, speeding the game up because it's to Coney's advantage. No, it's to their advantage, and they're making the most of it. And particularly, again, Brady Saunders, eight assists on the game. Five for uh, Colby Smith as well, but Saunders 
really, uh, really enjoying this, uh, this pace. Dominic Politano picking up his fifth foul. That three no good, but right into the hands of Brady Saunders. Good one. May want to claim an assist there. <laughs> Saunders with two more. Flag. Here's Newcomb, uh, pardon me, Goodwin. Flag open for three, steps into it, misses it, tipped around, who's got it? It's going to be out of bounds, going to be off Dennett. Brody Freeman coming into the ball game. Parker Sargent will check out for Coach Maines. Here's Goodwin, up and down. Ryder Goodwin with two more. He's got 12. Dennett leans in and count the hoop. Ashton Dennett will go to the line for a three-point play. Steam down by 24 after that make. And Aaron Newcomb's going to check out. Colby Smith back in. Free throw by Dennett is good. Twenty-three point lead for the Witches. Games in January has Brewer at Bangor. I believe that's on January 4th, Ernie. That should, yeah, it should be set up uh, to be a good one. Yeah, Bangor's off to a great start. Lost to Nacoma at Nacomas to open the season. Since then, three wins in a row, including back-to-back -back wins. Uh, most recently over Deering, and then Edward Little. Uh, a very impressive win there for for the Rams. There, I think they're playing Lawrence uh, today or this evening. Lawrence is a uh, team that's off to a, a decent start. They suffered their first loss on Tuesday to Coney. And that shot is going to be saved in. Who's got it? Nice effort there by Dennett. And here's Doohan finally coming up with it and putting it home. Good hustle there by the Rams. won its first few games largely at the defensive end of the court. And for these last two, the defense is still there, but uh, 87 points against Hamden, and they're on that pace here this afternoon with 75 with still five minutes to go. Colby Smith at the free throw line. It's the front end, so he'll get one more. 17 fouls for the Rams. Will be second free throw, all net. He's got six points on the afternoon, 5.07 on the clock, which is up 77 to 54. Flannery coming back in. Freeman will check out for Coney. So Aaron Newcomb with 19 for Brewer, 16 for Brady Saunders. And get two more to Cam Dewan, He's having himself Heck of a day, he's up to 19 points. Or maybe you have him at 20. Is that the one? Is it Dewan and Briggs that we're battling over? There's Brady Saunders with two more. Give him 20. Dewan at the other end is going to travel. Yeah, I've got Dewan for 21, but okay. uh, it's probably a 50 50 deal on that one. As uh, Saunders getting inside there. For another hoop. He scored in pretty much every conceivable way except mm. the dunk here in this game. He did have a dunk in the JV he game. He did have a dunk in the JV game. Pretty impressive. I think it was Brewer, wasn't it? Unfortunately, yes. Of course, so we didn't have our, our cameras on at the time. Here is Briggs taking it to the other end and laying it in with the left hand. Two players to the floor. Briggs, one of them, flagged the other one for Brewer. Yeah, it looks like T.J. Maine's going to empty his bench here. He's got three subs ready to come in. 
Yeah, we got uh, Davin Flynn, Brody Freeman, and Eli Paris at the scorer's table. And Evan Glass and Aaron Newcomb coming back in for Brewer. Hawk Anderson, one of the three officials here, checking in at the it was a made field scorer's goal. table. Right, made field goal, so it should be just one shot. There you go. Yep. I didn't know. See, now that you can let the uh, right. subs in. It's, it's two shot foul, you have to wait till the second shot. Flag out, Neto out. The floor now for Brewer, four of their starters. Saunders, Goodwin, Smith, and Newcomb, along with Evan Glass. In and out there by Briggs. Colby Smith. Six and Zags lost control, but it bounces right into the hands of Ryder Goodwin. And he gets fouled on the way up, so Goodwin will be at the line for a pair. Knocked away from Colby Smith, and just the way the day's gone for Brewer. Trickled yeah. right over to the grinder. Strength factor there, working for Goodwin. And Goodwin hits the first of two. He's got 13, misses the second one. But Brewer gets the offensive rebound. Evan Glass can't hit the shot. Also there by Colby Smith. Here's one put up by Flynn. That three ball no good. Rebound a good one. Comfortable lead right now for Brewer. There's Brady Saunders. Had that ball partially blocked. Gets it back. Reverse layup is good and a foul. Brady Saunders from the outset, Ernie. Uh, it's been so active. You just tell he loves to run and jump, and it's all happening for him today. He's got him for 22 right now. Yep. Chance to make it 25-point lead for Brewer, and he does. So Brady with 23 points, and he's going to take a seat on the Brewer bench. His work is likely done here today. Cam Hughes in for the Witches. Freeman caught in a pickle, dribbles out of it. Now a cut to the hoop by Flynn, lost control of it. Freeman, a little pump fake, and he gets uh, Colby Smith off the ground, puts up the shot, no good. And it's uh, picked off by Rocco Napolitano. Napolitano gives to Flannery, Flannery the drive, and he'll pick up two points. With patience there. I mean, you don't need patience if you're Coney down 23, but uh, at this point, you're just, you're just running the offense with your reserves. They did a nice job. Newcomb for three. He hits. That's number seven. So he equals the seven he had against Hamden. On Tuesday. You must be wondering what the school record is. And which is on the run. Ryder Goodwin will lay it up and in. And that's 15 for Ryder. And I think TJ Maines and Ben Goodwin getting into it a little bit here about uh, the Witches with some of their starters still on the floor. And we got a timeout here. We'll keep it right here. I don't know. I kind of sent something like that. <laughs> yeah. Pop up. I mean, he, uh, for what it's worth, Maine's clearly cleared his bench a moment or two ago. Yeah. Brought in the three kids who hadn't played at all. And Brewer now is 
cleared their bench. Braden Carr and timeout called here by Ben Goodwin. Let's take a look at the schedules, results and schedules for these two programs. Coney undefeated coming off that win on Tuesday against Lawrence, 75 to 62 to win there. You see their point totals. They can, they can put points on the board. Yeah, and actually defensively they've been playing pretty well until you know today. Yep. Uh, you know, 62 against Lawrence, but before that, uh, games in the 30s and the 40s. Uh, kind of an interesting game. They look down to the 20, was it the 29th of December? They're playing Freeport, which. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't imagine those teams have ever played before, but uh, somehow they very unfamiliar. Yeah, they work out a work out a game in the middle of the season. Neto in the paint to Cam Hughes, who powers his way up for two points. Cam is pretty solid down low there. He's, yeah, he's very strong, a lot like uh, somewhat like Ryder Goodwin in the sense that he's able to use his strength to uh, create opportunity. Knocked away by Brewer, but a foul is going to go against Evan Glass. I have to tell you, I mean, Brewer has pretty much gone through, even though it's early in the season, they've pretty much gone through all of their major competition in Class A North. And uh, they're, they're gone through the back right now. It's early. It's all been at home. That's tr certainly true. But it's a veteran team. It just seems to be playing better every night out. Steal by Hughes. Little Euro step there, and he missed the shot. Here comes Coney, Freeman. Finally gets it to Flannery along the baseline. Flannery picked up by Neto. Here's a shot up by the Rams. Reese with the miss. Going to be off the Rams. 110 left to go. Evan Glass for three, no good. Fight for the rebound. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Hughes. So it'll be Coney basketball. Flannery has it knocked away by Neto. And a collision there. Kyle Hoare with the basketball for Brewer. And foul go against Hoare. Fifty seconds left. Ninety to sixty witches. Glenn, and he's going to get fouled on his way to the hoop. And that's number seven on Brewer, so Davin Flynn is going to toe the line here. But you compare this, this game to the other night against Hamden, it's four guys in double figures. Kobe Smith, not with a lot of points, but a, with a lot of other contributions on both ends, a lot of assists. I mean, yep. it's just, and it's, it might be a, like tonight, it's Brady Saunders leading the way. The other night, it was, uh, it was Newcomb, and Newcomb certainly has been a key factor here. His uh, three point shooting certainly opens up opportunities for Saunders and Goodwin nearer the basket. And it's just all working right now. seconds left on the clock for fans some of them rising to their feet as the witchers are going to improve to five and0 oh. Rams will fall to four and one and the buzzer sounds and that will do it in this one the final Brewer 90 and Coney 60.
Ernie, a buzzsaw. Got loose here today once again. Certainly so. Uh, ben Goodwood and TJ Maines having a good handshake there after yep, the game. Good to see. Just a little bit of the spirit of the battle there. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know what I expected today, but uh, I mean, <laughs> Brewers, I don't want to say making it look easy right now, but they're very effective in pretty much everything they're doing. There's not a kid out there that's not playing with a ton of confidence mm. and the willingness to, to go to the basket or do whatever it takes to help the team out. And, uh, and I don't think Coney expected to lose by 30 today. I certainly would, would argue with that. They've been playing well and, and have their system, which is unique. And that, and that challenges any team when you see something you don't normally see. But, but Brewer handled that tonight from the start and uh, just kept building the lead uh, throughout the game. Just uh, credit to the uh, Witches. We'll see what happens now. The schedule kind of slows down here now for the next week or so with the, with the holidays. So I think probably Brewers got one game next week before we get back at it uh, in a hardcore way come uh, early January. But uh, I think they'd like to keep playing <laughs> right now. Play their entire schedule uh, maybe once every every three games, but uh, there's no uh, reason at this point to think that anything's going to much is going to change in a negative way. They're just a veteran team playing with a lot of confidence and a very versatile team with a lot of different weapons. Yeah, we'll take a quick look here at the uh, upcoming schedule for Brewer. Uh, again, win number five now with this victory over Coney, 90 to 60. Uh, Mount Blue on Tuesday, and then. Uh, Bangor, that game is actually on January 4th uh, against uh, Bangor at Redberry Gymnasium. Uh, so that uh, will be a good one. We'll have that one here on Ticket TV as well. I think Mount Blue is 2-2 two and two on the season. And that's a road trip, certainly. Yep, uh, it is a trip. Head up to Farmington. So, And again, Brewer hasn't played many road games, just, uh, just the one so far this season. So that'll be something different. And then the rivalry with Bangor where... You know, the, the cliche is you can throw out the record books, and you kind of can when, yep. they, when they play. Because that's going to be a gritty, hard-nosed battle. You just know because both these teams are playing very, very well. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the post-game show for you. That's up next, 90-60 to 60 the final. Brewer with their fifth win of the season against no losses. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. You'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home, while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That's simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card, only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. Back at Brewer High School, Jim Churchill along with uh, Ernie Clark. And we're going to be joined by a couple of uh, special guests here. Coach Ben Goodwin of the victorious uh, Brewer Witches is going to join us. Where? Yes, there he is. Just want to make sure we got the right headset for Coach Goodwin. And uh, Brady Saunders will be joining us uh, soon as well. Uh, Coach, we'll let you kind of uh, watch the second half highlights with us here. And our broadcast position here at Brewer High School. But uh, again, fast and furious uh, from the outset, Coach. Uh, the defense was solid all over the court, and you handled their pressure quite well. No, I thought it was going to be a good game all the way around. Some nice highlights. We did shot, shot very well. But you take that the team play where we can get inside them a little bit and then kick it out to our open shooters. And it's, I mean, you, you can't ask for any better. you got great shooters like a, a Newcomb and Saunders and those guys that can score. It, it just makes it, opens up everything good. Just talk about the, the unique challenge that Coney presents because they play the game a little bit differently than 
pretty much everybody else around here. They do. It's that up-tempo. They've been playing that way ever since Coach Maines got there. Um, it, 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 it's tough because if they can take you out of your game pretty easy. I thought our guards and, and our players today handled the pressure very well. And once we settled down, I think we got any shot that we wanted. We just had to be able to handle the pressure up front, settle it down in the half court. Yeah, because once you, once you beat them out on the perimeter, you had three on two. And you know, uh, this kid with seven or eight assists, uh, Brady Saunders and, uh, and uh, Kobe Smith were just picking guys off the baseline for layups. Uh, Brady, uh, it appears you enjoy this kind of pace. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, Pony likes to speed it up a lot, and I like to play fast, so I guess uh, that's where that came from. So Yeah, no, it worked. You were, it was very impressive. You could just tell you were playing with a lot of uh, enjoyment and uh, confidence out there. As there is somebody picking up a charge for uh, Brewer and, and Coney. I mean, they're never going to stop coming at you. And you just got to be able to react. I also thought you always, for the most part, had a couple of guys back defensively. So... The breaks might have been three on two, but they weren't three on one. Right, and that was one of the things we talked about. They get out and go. I mean, they like to run it down offense. They'll shoot threes. I thought the first half, they did very well getting inside of our defense and scoring in the paint. I don't know how many points they had in the paint in the first half, but it was quite a bit. I think us, we made a little adjustment at halftime, stopped them from getting in the paint, and, and, and that really struggled them. They weren't able to score as much. So um, I thought our guys did very good picking picking their guys up early in transition so we knew where everybody was. Uh, right. Yeah, Brady, I'm just going to ask you, can you just talk about how Aaron Newcomb, these last two nights, for instance, not only is he making shots, but what does him making shots from three-point land create for the rest of you guys? I mean, that, that, that really opens up everything because once you have Newcomb hitting shots, like you either got to face guard him because he's going to make it no matter what, or like you're going to have to help. You always got to know where he is. So uh, it really opens up our drives and, and able to drive and then kick it once the help comes and then yeah it really just opens everything up. When the shots are dropping coach and the winds are being racked up in the, in that left hand column everything seems good and looks good but it really was a pleasure to watch and it's been a pleasure to watch all season long but the the ball movement the player movement against very different styles of defense uh, you've got a lot of guys, even coming off the bench, who are willing to take the shot, and they're very confident in taking the shot, but they're also willing to give up a better shot. Well, I appreciate that, and that's something, you know, us as a team, we've been preaching it for the last couple of years. Of, we need everybody, and we, we don't have a guy that comes out every night and scores 40 a night, but we have a whole bunch of guys that could score 40 on you. So for, for a Brady Saunders as an outstanding player in our league to be unselfish, and he rebounded and passed the ball tonight, you know, and his night's coming, and, and we know that, so... That team play is something we've preached and preached for the last couple of years, and it's really starting to show, I believe. And he, and he had 23 as Oh, well, I so. guess that, that was <laughs> up. He's such a quiet 23. But, he does such a great but job. you had the assistant, and that's right. 40 points. So. I mean, it's an outstanding the way he rebounds and plays. So. And, 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 and you don't have the deepest bench in the world, but, but between Evan Neto and uh, Cam Hughes and, and now Evan Glass uh, coming out there and playing with confidence, that part of the uh, program seems to be uh, – growing as the season goes along it really makes a big difference and you and you see when those guys come in and play and then the guys that are started sitting on the bench and they're standing up and high-fiving and cheering for them and you know it's just a great big family and like i said it could be anybody's night you get one of those guys even the bench guys that come in and they give 110 percent and we'll just see what happens and hopefully we can keep it going all right, well, guys, congratulations. Uh, Brady, maybe Coach will watch this game again, and he'll notice your 23 <laughs> next time. But, uh, <laughs> we saw it. We saw yeah, it we all did. the way. That's why you're up here. <laughs> uh, but congrats on the win, 5-0, and oh, and uh, good luck against Mount Blue next, and we'll see you at Bangor uh, in the new year. Excellent. Should all be right. a good one. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Brady Saunders, Coach Ben Goodwin, joining us here in our broadcast position at uh, Brewer High School. All right, we'll take another uh, quick timeout. We'll come back and wrap this one up. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Napa knows holiday savings. And with 29 locations in Maine, Coastal Auto Parts has everything you need to find the perfect gift this holiday season. Now through the end of the year, save on deals for the entire family. Save big on Milwaukee drilling ratchet and socket tool sets. Select beanies and stocking stuffer deals throughout the store. And while you're here, sign up for Napa Rewards. You'll save more each time you shop. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a main family that cares. Nothing runs like a deer. 
And Greenway Equipment Sales keeps your John Deere running year-round with convenient mobile maintenance service. We service most walk-behind and riding lawn equipment right in your yard in our specially equipped truck with no mess in your driveway. Our 14-point checkup will keep your John Deere running smoothly. We'll even change attachments for you. Call the Smith Brothers today to schedule expert service right at your door with two trucks now on the road to serve you better. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth and Bangor. All right, back at uh, Brewer High School, Jim Church along with Ernie Clark and our Ticket TV crew as we see some of the uh, fans milling about, players as well after this Brewer win 90-60 to over the previously unbeaten Coney Rams. High School Basketball and Ticket TV is brought to you by Coastal Auto Parts. Coastal Auto Parts, owners of your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores. And we're also brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company. Hammond Lumber Company, family, family owned and operated since 1953. Ernie, why don't you give us uh, some numbers? Yes, sir, a lot of them. 90 to 60, the final score for beating Coney. As Coach Goodwin said, a, a balanced effort by the witches once again. Brady Saunders leading the way with 23. Aaron Newcomb with 22. In all of the field goals, uh, three pointers, seven three pointers in. 13 attempts, which was the exact same number uh, numbers that he had the other night against Hamden, 7 for 13. That's, of course, very unofficial, but 22 points nonetheless. 14 for Ryder Goodwin, 13 for Brock Flagg, 6 points and 6 assists for Colby Smith, 4 points apiece for Evan Glass and Cameron Hughes, and a 3-pointer by Evan Neto for the total of 90 points. For the Coney Rams, Cam Dewan leading the way with 21. Luke Briggs with 11, 9 for Caleb Stred, 5 for Ashton Dennett, 4 for Parker Sargent, Braden Barbo with 4, Brady Hopkins with 4, and Dominic Napolitano with 2 for Coney's total of 60. Any other uh, team stats? Uh? Nah, they, this was a, this a game. <laughs> too, too quick. Much, too, quick right, sorry. Sorry. too many numbers, too many <laughs> stats. I don't know why I asked that. <laughs> I knew it. All right, uh, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, again, we'll take a look at our upcoming uh, broadcast schedule. We are not done for the day. We have another game tonight on Ticket TV and the Big East Network. The Bucksport Golden Bucks making their debut on Ticket TV uh, this year. And so they'll be taking on the Orno Red Riot Boys. We saw them earlier at Herman, a very exciting young team as well. Are the Red Riots of Ed Catala? That game tips off at 7 p.m. Yeah, I believe Orno's 3 1 on the season. Not sure if uh, the, the freshman that we saw over he's at Norman, he's been weeks, out. Yeah, yeah he's uh, not played since ben. that game, but he was a special player in that particular game, particularly in the first half. Will Francis, Will Francis before he uh, yeah. hurt, uh, injured a wrist in a fall. Uh, hasn't been back yet. Orno suffered their first loss the other night to Foxcroft Academy. The Pony's unbeaten as well, so it's not a terrible loss, but it'd be an interesting matchup to see them bounce back tonight against the Golden Bucks of Bucksville. And then on Tuesday night, a couple of girls games. Uh, Mount Blue right here at Brewer High School against the, the Witches. And then across the river at Redberry Gymnasium, we'll have Hamden at Bangor. A couple of uh, powers on the girls side going at it. And then a doubleheader on Thursday the 28th, our final games of 2021. A doubleheader Ellsworth at Orno. Boys at 1.30. The girls matchup will follow between the Eagles and the Red Riots at 4.30. And another reminder on Sports Radio 92.9, the tickets. Our local programming includes the morning line from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and the drive weekdays 4 to 6. In fact, Ernie and I, myself, we're going to be making our way down the street to the uh, ticket studios. And we'll have the drive this afternoon from 4 to 6. And thanks to our great crew here today. Marcus Caesar leading the way. On camera, Max actually remembered to put his name on the credit system. I have a question. Can I ask a question? Sure. Is that is that the correct spelling of Caesar? Yes. But you're Caesar. Okay, yeah. I'm just checking. Caesar. I, I want you to get full credit. I was, you know. The only one that counts. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Aiden Crystal and Max Straub, one of our young students from UTC. Max Bottle directing and also responsible for the graphics here tonight, the technical supervisor as well, and Ernie Clark, our color analyst here tonight, doing another stellar job. Ernie, thank you. My pleasure.
Jim Churchill sang so long from Brewer High School. The final, the Witches, 90. The Rams of Coney, 60. This has been High School Basketball on Ticket TV. High School Basketball on Ticket TV has been brought to you by Quirk Auto Group. Greenway Equipment Sales. First National Bank. And mainly supplements. High School Basketball is also brought to you by County Physical Therapy. Hammond Lumber Company. Coastal Auto Parts. Dean's Detailing. And by Midcoast Denture Design. Down East Toyota. And Northeast Driving School. This broadcast of high school basketball on Ticket TV has been a production of Sportsnet Maine and Sports Radio 